Hey guys, today I have a new Project 5 Uses update. Um, <clears throat> if, you don't, if you don't watch this series, whenever I get anything new, I put it off to the side or I mean I st can start using it immediately too. But I track how many times I use it. I want to use them all at least five times, sometimes more, um, in order to get my opinion on them. And then I put them into a basket to film these videos. So these are all products that I have had set aside to update you guys on. Um, so let's just get into it. Let me pull them all out. All right, so first we have a little bronzer and this is the NARS Laguna. I've used this before. I've used up a mini of this before and I know I really like it. Um, I just wanted to get some use on it um, since it was new. This was like the Sephora birthday gift. So I actually got this in the summer. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I put, once I use it for the five uses, um, I put it in a basket and then I slowly pull out, like I pull out a handful of products to do these updates. So some of them sit in there for a little while before I do this video. But anyway, I do have this bronzer and I really like this. I'm glad to have another Laguna in my life. Next, I have a Pixie eyeliner. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Matte Khaki. And this is like an olive green. It's really pretty. I did really like this. This made like my blue eyes look good. <laughs> it made them pop. This works in the waterline as well. Um, I prefer, like I always put something in my, wa my waterline, like 99% of the time. Um, and I do the lower lash line as well, but, um, I like an eyeliner that will work for both. So I'm glad this works in the waterline and I really liked this. This was nice. I've been like weirdly into eyeliners recently, like, um, different colored eyeliners. So I do need to like start using like a bunch up, which eyeliners take forever to use up. Um, but I brought in quite a few, so I need to start using some up. From ColourPop, I have the Lux Gloss in Orchid. This is like a really fun, bright tangerine orange color. This smells so good. It also tastes really good. Mm, it smells like, like orange, like candy. And that's what it looks like. This is a very thick gloss. If you don't like thick lip gloss, like you're not gonna like this. Um, I know these get hit and miss reviews um a lot of people don't like these because they are so thick but um I don't use like a ton like I don't just coat my entire lips I put like a little bit on and then like rub it out you know um and I think they feel really moisturizing I actually have one on today as well over top of some lipsticks I have on this one in just cuddle um but I've been enjoying these and yeah I like it Next, we have a primer. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, I think I got this in a FabFitFun box. I've used up like many, many, many samples of this, but I've never had a full size, so I'm glad to have a full size. I'm more into hydrating primers or moisturizing um, primers for this for the winter because my skin is dying. <laughs> and so I'll probably reach for this more like in the summer months. Um, but I do like this just at the moment I've been really liking moisturizing primers. We have a highlighter here. This is from Becca in Lilac Geode. I also have a mini of this. Um, a lot of my Becca highlighters, I have a mini and a full size, which is not good, but I do collect these when I find them at TJ Maxx, which is, um, an issue, but I don't care. I like them and they, I mean, they went out of business, so I'll never be able to get them again if I don't get them now. So, <laughs> um, I got this one and it's stunning. I love it. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's down here. It's like a pinky purpley with a gold reflect. This would be a stunning eyeshadow as well. I think I only, I don't think I used it as an eyeshadow, but that would be so pretty. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Next we have an eyeshadow. This is from ColourPop. And this is the Super Shock Shadow Ultra Metallic in Koosh. 
I talked about this before in my panels eyeshadows, I think, and in my products I've had pan on or hit pan on um, because I have pan on it, obviously. This is a really pretty metallic right here at the bottom. It's like a pinky, rosy toned silver champagne. It's really pretty. I use this obviously with other eyeshadows, but I think I also use this on its own for just like a one shadow look and it's so pretty. I do really like this one. Like I know, I see why this one is so famous. At last, we just have two palettes to talk about. First, we have my Blink Go Getter Face Palette. And this was in my whole collection project pan as well. So this is what it looks like. Really pretty blush and highlighter palette. This one I already used 30 times and like you can barely tell. Like there's brush marks and stuff, but like no dip. So these are huge. Um, I really like this palette. I think the highlighters are so pretty. The blushes are really nice as well. They're all like really nice neutral colors and every shade works for me. This like highlighter down here is a little dark, but like I could still, like I've mixed it with the other ones and made it work. So I think this is like a perfect light to medium skin toned palette. Um, if you're like um, more on the, like the medium dark side, um, medium would probably work for you, but dark, I'm not sure like if these would be your colors or not. Um, these are pretty light down here, but anyway, I really like this. I don't know this, if this comes in other shades or not, like it doesn't have a shade name on here. So I think this is the only one, but anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Let's swatch some of these. We're going to pick, let's see, you guys have seen this one a lot in my whole collection project pan. So let's do confident, which is this one. And we'll do the blush right above it, Talented. If I can find space. Oh, that was a terrible place. Okay, let me just do the other hand. All right, there they are right there. Just a really quick light swatch. Really pretty. I really enjoy this palette. And last we have from Ofra, this is the Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. Um, and I got this off BoxyCharm. Here's what it looks like. So we get six eyeshadows, a blush bronzer, and then the All of the Lights highlighter, which has four different shades in there. Stunning. And I really like that you can take these out and like put them in, um, like a magnetic palette. Let's see. I had I had one of these in a project. I had this one in my panels eyeshadows, I think. So let's swatch the blue though, because like that one is so pretty. Stunning. There that is right there. It's so pretty. And then we'll do like this metallic rose gold because I used that one a lot um, when I was using it for the five uses. There's that one right there. They're so pretty. These blend out so like nice and easily. Um, and then like the face products are really good too. Obviously the Ofra highlighters are really popular. Um, but I've never tried their eyeshadows. I actually don't know really how many Ofra products I've tried, but... I really like this and I'm excited to have this in my collection. So that is going to be everything for this update. I hope you guys like this video and definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.